All right, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Emmanuela Lambropoulos is, of course, your Liberal MP for Saint Laurent, and she joins us once again in our VT studios. Thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Okay, 18 months in. I still remember the, what, right after you won, you were sitting on the couch with us, and, you know, it was still all a bit of a, not a surprise, but it was very new, it was very fresh. Tell us about these 18 months. Well, uh, it's been, like I had mentioned last time, a steep learning curve. Uh, things are starting to become more normal, more routine at this point. Um, you know, figuring out what I'm doing when I'm in Saint, in Saint Laurent, what I'm doing when I'm in Ottawa. And, uh, you know, I think I've found my place a little bit more in Ottawa. I've gotten that confidence. I, I really, you know, fight for the issues that I believe in. Um, I'm not afraid to, to stand up and say what's on my mind to stand up for women's rights, mm -hmm. even within our caucus. Yeah. Um, you know, because when you have 184 different people in the room, not everyone's going to have the same opinions about, you know, who should be there, who should get the chance to speak and all of that. So when I feel that there's something that's unfair, I have no problem, yeah. you know, saying it and calling it out. And, and you, it, have to, it you have to find a way to get yourself heard, right? Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? I think that it does a service to all of the young women who are trying to get into politics and who are trying to get into these arenas mm -hmm. because we're changing, like, the way that we do things, you know? And luckily, we have a leader that also supports younger generations and women. So it's something that, you know, I feel, the, you know, I feel like I, I'm able to go there because... Because you've given well, me that agency. That opportunity. You know, Let's yeah. talk about that because you're, you've been recently appointed to two new uh, committees. One is the status of women, the other is on official language. So talk to me a little bit about the work uh, for the status of women. You mentioned that when there's a cause that you're passionate about, when, there, you, when you feel like something is unjust for women, you will speak up. But yeah. more practically, what is what are you trying to accomplish? So on the status of women committee, I've actually been on it for about a year now. And uh, we do different studies. So what a committee does is basically we, you know, again, we, we put forth studies that we're going to look at. We bring in witnesses to talk about the issues who are on the ground, experts in the field, people who are maybe witnessing these things for the first time or who experience them themselves. And then we draft a report and recommendations for the minister. And we but what issues specifically do you work on? So are, the yeah. one that we're doing right now is um, shelters and transition homes for women fleeing violence mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we're working on right now. Another study that we recently did were, was barriers to women in politics and to get them to enter politics. So, you know, what's going on with the nomination process? What's stopping women from coming forth? Is it really that there is a lack of women coming forth or are is they intimidated yeah. before getting in? You know, what's going on? Trying to get to the bottom of it so that we can better our practices and, and improve it for everybody. Let's talk about now the official languages one. What does that mean? People will say, okay, French and English, but what does that mean? What exactly are you so doing So specifically what we do on this committee is we fight for the rights of minority language groups. Mm. So within Quebec, the minority group is Anglophone. And so I'm there to advocate for Anglophone rights within Quebec. Um, before I was appointed to this committee, there was no Anglophone on the committee whatsoever. And so the only thing that they were doing was uh, advocating for French rights outside of Quebec. And... <laughs> like when so I you came went into smaller, it. like there's French rights in Quebec, and then you were like, wait, 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 there's also an issue here. Exactly. Yeah. And so if we change the language that we're using and we make it more inclusive to include just all linguistic minority groups and not just les francophones qui vivent en dehors du Québec, then, you know, at least we're, we're benefiting as well from the recommendations that we're putting forth towards the ministers. And so the Prime Minister actually put me on this committee as a promise to the Quebec Community Groups Network, who has been advocating forever. Uh, they're kind of the umbrella organization for all English minority groups mm -hmm. in Quebec. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they're number one for advocating for... Anglophone so you're working directly with them. We're running out of time, in Rela, but let's talk about this. The food and uh, this this drive. This is from November 19th to the 21st uh, of December. What exactly are you doing? So basically, like last year, we had done a food drive where we collected as much food donations as possible, and we were able to deliver 30 good-sized baskets that about lasted families probably a week to two weeks mm -hmm. uh, during the holidays. Just what are you looking Christmas. for exactly in these baskets? Any unperishable food item, mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it's pasta or, you know, canned uh, rice, goods, yeah. canned goods, exactly. Uh, anything that you think could feed a family. And uh, But this time we're expanding it to also include winter clothing. So we know that that's a huge issue. A lot of refugees come with nothing. Too. Exactly. So if anyone has anything that they don't use anymore, you know, their children have outgrown certain outfits and they are looking to get rid of them, 
this is a good way to do it because we are going directly to families in Saint Laurent who are the neediest. So we've targeted a few key areas where there's the highest need, and we've we've also been in contact with the schools in order, you know, because. Often the principals and the teachers in the school will see which kids don't come with food, right, don't right, come right, with right, jackets. Of course. So we're going to make sure that it's going to the right people. And this is happening where uh, they can drop off where exactly? At our office. Okay. So between 9 to 5, Monday to Friday at 7.50 Rue Marcel Lorrain, Suite 102. Okay. And the thing is, you know, we do open sometimes on weekends. So if they do want to drop things off on weekends, they could just look at my Facebook page and just let you know ahead of time. Yeah. yeah even okay. just contacting us and saying, you know, we have something. We can even go pick up in many cases. She's so. on it. Emmanuel yeah. and Robos is on it again. The Liberal MP for Saint Laurent, Emmanuel. Thank you so much for taking the time. For it's us. a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. And we'll chat again soon. I'm sure. All right. Stay tuned. You're watching Breakfast Television on City TV.